All right, today is the earliest day that our ghost bull snakes can, from Monroe can start hatching, so I'm gonna start checking these guys. How are the Monroe eggs? Uh, no babies yet. As you can see, we had one mold out, but I think the others, maybe not that one, are okay. So that's all right. I've been using some Lotrim and foot powder on them to prevent it from spreading. Well, there's one more clutch that could be, and that's our Lily, Lily the hognose snake. That might be hatched. Oh, is that an opening? Oh my gosh, there's a baby red. Oh my gosh, Lily's eggs are hatching. Oh my gosh, I need to tell Ed we're closed today. Oh, he's in the bathroom. Ed! What? Hognose eggs are hatching. Oh, really? Yes. Come here, come look. I, I guess I'll leave him alone. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 it's hatching. Oh my goodness, are there any lavenders? So Lily was a super conda het lavender, and we paired her to a lavender male named Shane Co. And so Lily's, eggs are Lily's eggs are hatching. We might get lavenders. That would be cool. Wouldn't it? Should we take a peek? Sure. Really quick. Okay, okay. This won't okay. be for very long. Oh no, we'll bring them back here. We'll bring them, okay, okay. That one pipped. This one pit but sucked his head back in, I think. All right, we'll put him out here. Bring him out here so we can see. All right, while Ed gets uh, the eggs over there ready to look at, here is Lily. This is the mom. She is a superconda, and she is supposedly het lavender. That's what we bought her as anyway. And to test it out, we paired her with... Uh, uh, you, Shane Co, who is a lavender male. So Lily here doesn't have spots. That's why she's the superconda. So that gene works in a way that all of her babies will have a reduced pattern. So they'll have uh, fewer spots than the wild types that have a lot of spots like that. So she was paired with Shane Co, who's back here. Shane Co, you're gonna be a dad! Who's a beautiful lavender hog nose. Uh, the camera doesn't even do it justice, but he's like pinkish purple. Even his tongue, you are beautiful. And his eyes, and his belly. So with these two being paired, all the babies will have fewer spots, but usually larger spots, thanks to the superconda gene. And 50% of the babies on top of that will have that lavender coloration. Oh my gosh. So two eggs have pipped. You looking? Okay, first one. Wow, that's a gorgeous conda. It's like a striped mm -hmm. conda. Color-wise, it looks like no. I don't know. Because uh, they kind of grow into the color a little yeah, bit, too. So I don't think we're going to really be able to tell till we see siblings. Yeah, when we can compare them. I think he's just a normal color. It's a 50-50 chance if it's lavender. But definitely a conda, so that's awesome. Let's take a peek in the other one that hipped. Oh, I see a nose! Yeah, his little nose is oh, poking out. Oh, his nose is there. Okay. This was our Star Wars clutch, by the way. Don't hide from us. We want to see what... Maybe I'll turn my flash on. Can I see anything in there? Not really. You could be lavender, but I can't tell. No. Ah, oh, okay. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Oh, you can see the pattern of that one through yeah, the shell. Yeah, you see this one and this one. Oh yeah, you can see them through the shell. That is super cool. Our first baby hognose of the year. First babies of the year. I mean, we had egg-eating snakes, but I wouldn't count That's them as part of this breeding season because yeah. it was so long ago. So first baby of the 2022 breeding season is a conda hognose snake. Look so, at that. I have to separate a Russian tortoise. He's being a jerk. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so we are going to put these back in the incubator. Probably come back tomorrow and see what's out. What are oh you doing? Gosh. We've only, it's only been like 12 hours since they started pipping. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're doing it a little early this time because we will not be here tomorrow. Yep. So they started pipping this morning. We waited as late as possible to- Yeah, it's now uh, like 12 o'clock at night. Yeah, now it's pretty much midnight. So it's as close as we can get to 24 hours. It'll oh, work. Oh, that one came up outside, <laughs> or came out upside down. That one is currently upside down. He's so, dying. Oh my gosh. Let's cut open. That's the pipped one. He said, an, oh, another one pipped. There's the new one. Oh the lightsaber. Gosh. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. Focus behind the plastic. Here, don't suck in. Don't suck in. <gasps> oh. Baby. <laughs> you are so cute. It's like, I'm trying to suck back in. <laughs> so that one. Doesn't look lavender. This one doesn't look lavender. Don't know about this one. Hopefully there's lavenders. Yeah, hopefully we didn't get uh, scammed on Lily. Let's, let's hope not. Okay, well, I guess only one way to tell. 
we are going to slice a small hole on the upper part of the egg since the babies, when they're not coming out yet, they're kind of resting below, so there's a little bit of space. So we're going to open up bit of a hole to allow them to come out if they haven't uh, developed their egg tooth, which they use to slice open the egg from the inside, or if the egg tooth fell off and they can't get out. We don't want them to drown in their own fluids in the egg, so this is our way of helping them hatch. Dude, what are you doing? Why are you upside down? You're not, oh, doesn't want to be touched. Yeah, he's not dead, he's just upside down. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you like this? You're just, you're gonna be the goofy one of the clutch? Don't suck back into your egg. All right, well, I suppose, we should, where should we start? Oh my gosh, first hognose babies of the year. Oh, and what an exciting clutch. I really hope we get a lavender. That one's already pipped. It doesn't look, it looks like a brownish colored face, so I think that one's a normal. You can see on the side here that he is a conda. Like, all these should be condas. They're visi she's visibly conda, or super conda, so right. there's no way that we didn't get scammed by that. That's true. You wanna see a really cute little pose here? Oh, look at his little face. What are you, what are you doing? You're in such a weird position. You can even see his little egg tooth. It looks like a little buck tooth there. You did a good job cutting out of your egg. Yeah. You're so cute. Okay, so that's a normal. This is a normal, but you can tell if you look through the egg in this window, you can see that his belly is all black and he has those white walls alongside the belly. So that is yeah. a conda. It's just a normal colored conda. That's what we have here. The other one that pipped, I think, can I, I'm gonna get tweezers. I kind of want to peek and see what you are color-wise. There we go. Uh, I see a lot of browns. So I think that's another wild type or a normal. Okay, shoot, it should be 50-50. Yeah, either we're getting really unlucky yep. so far. Yep. Or. Or, I don't want to talk about the other option. Yeah, oh, we paid he's... way too much for a super conda. Yeah, really. <laughs> All right, let's start cutting and see what we can find. We're gonna cut open Yoda. Come on, please be a lavender. The goop looks good. Just gonna cut open a little slit here. Okay, rip it open. And looking at colors. That looks pretty brown to me. That looks pretty brown to me too. Okay, that one looks like a normal. Oh no. You can see blood right here. That's not from me cutting the baby. That's just one of the veins that lies on the underside of the eggshell, so that is normal. Let's try this one. There's really not much as far as windows go for this guy. So let's see. Oh, that's definitely a normal. There's his face. Cute little baby there. Yeah. But it is a normal, okay. All right, well. I'm starting to get nervous. I'm pretty sure at this point uh, that guy just ripped us off. I think we just have a, an overpriced super conda. We'll try this one. Come on, lavender. Come on, lavender. Oh, Ooh, weird looking goop. Yeah. Not sure about that one. I'm gonna leave it alone though, because the goop doesn't look good, so that might not be a good baby. So we'll see, we'll have to come back to that one. How about the X-Wing egg? Come on, Lavender. Goop looks clear. Yeah, goop looks, looks good. Uh, I mean, that one does look really light on the, uh, like in here. It does look a bit lighter, doesn't it? Oh, that's kind of cool. You can see the veins right there yeah. that provide the uh, blood flow, kind of. This one looks lighter in color. Maybe I'm just making it up, but... Okay, so here's the back. It does look a lot lighter. Yeah, look at that. That is a lighter color. Oh, it's gonna be one of those where I think That's... we have to see them out. Yeah, I don't know. I, I wanna be hopeful, but I'm not convinced yet. Yeah. Okay, how about this really long egg? What's the symbol again in the Star Wars? The Sith. That is the Sith, okay. Yep. Oh man, a bunch of people just cringed me asking. 90% sure. Oh wow, this one like really oozed out. Okay. Oh, never mind. Not the, the Jedi logo. That's the Jedi logo? Oh no. You know, they're pretty much the same thing. Okay. Yeah, it's totally the Jedi logo. Okay, so here's our <laughs> Jedi baby. This might be... Yeah. We, I lost all cred <laughs> Yes, you did. <laughs> Lavender in three, two, one. Oh, get the flap, Emily. Uh, oh. I mean... That also looks lighter in color. It also looks a lot lighter in color. That... That one could be a lavender. I think that might be a lavender. Yeah. I am pretty sure that one is. Oh my gosh, I think that is a lavender. Look, the, look at that light colored belly right here. We are getting terrible odds That then. That is a lavender. Look, that, that can't amazing. be a normal. Oh my gosh. Yes, the Jedi baby is a lavender. See, look yeah. at the difference. We've got this dark brown there, 
And then over here, look at that light color. It's hard to see. It might be even it's harder be a on lot camera. Easier to see once they're out. So. Oh my gosh! I believe that is a lavender. Okay. This is our other lightsaber. This was the blue lightsaber. Yep. Blue kind of fade. Weird. Look. Yeah. Blue coloration of uh, Sharpies fades. Uh, during incubation. What a weird experiment that was. Didn't even mean for it to be an experiment. Yeah. So use black marker over blue for egg. For X's. Yeah. Oh man, I'm all shaky. I'm so nervous about this clutch. Three, and excited. Two, one. <gasps> that looks like a normal. You think? Well, Look at the I size guess there. On camera, I was looking through the camera. It's hard to tell. Oh man, that is hard to tell. That's a mystery. That's a mystery. Okay, mystery baby. So all of these will eventually come out and they'll be easy to tell then. <laughs> yes. Okay, to the next container. Oh, we've got Darth Bulbasaur. <laughs> yes, we have Bulbasaur. You've already lost all your creds, so <laughs> why not? I mean, that looks a lot more like Bulbasaur than Darth Vader. <laughs> it does look like Bulbasaur. <laughs> okay, next baby. That one opened really easily. Yeah, it did. I liked it. Three, two, one. Normal. normal. <laughs> That's definitely yeah, a normal. normal. Alright. Okay, we've got a stormtrooper. I'm gonna cut this guy open. Oh, well, Emily's got the neck down now. Yeah, I do. Okay, blood is normal. Those are just the veins we saw earlier. Stormtrooper could be lavender in three, two, one. What are you? Normal. That looks pretty brown to me. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I, I, think, think, I think I think normal. I think that's a normal. Okay. Ah, we are not getting good luck. Or it's just hard to tell. Or yeah, there could be some in here that are just Yeah. Very light lavenders. Yeah. Okay, R2 D2. Will R2 D2 be a lavender or a normal? We know it's a conda. Okay. Three, two, one. Ooh. Uh, Oh, well, there's our face. Can't tell on camera. I see your face there. Are you still incubating? I'm sorry. I think. Oh, yeah, look at the browns here. Yeah. That's, that's a that's... normal. We have two left. Come on, have one convincing lavender for us. Although I'm pretty sure we might have one already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one was. Yeah. Okay, here's our droid egg. Goop looks good. Yeah, only one that didn't look like, good, looked like it was good. Yeah, this isn't bad. Three, two, one. Oh, that's a lavender. That's, that's totally a lavender. That's totally a lavender. Aww. Oh my gosh. Look at that lavender face. Ah! So two out of 17. So <laughs> yeah, far. we still have, yeah, we have one more egg. <laughs> but that one is definitely a so lavender. So we got R2D2 and Jedi. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. You are such a cute lavender. Okay, now I'm convinced, because even the Jedi, I was like, oh, maybe it's not, but that is a lavender, which means the uh, the, the Jedi egg is a lavender, and, and there's could more. Could be in some of these are lavender. Could be in some of more, too. It's harder to see <gasps> the eggs. They'll be very easy to tell when they're out. Oh my gosh, we have lavenders. Now that I'm convinced, I am, I'm stoked. Okay, last egg, last egg. Okay. I've learned that the calcified part of the shell is the easiest part to cut. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is uh, the Millennium. Millennium Falcon. Yep. So is it a lavender or a normal? Three, two, one. Normal! That's definitely a normal. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty normal to me. Oh my gosh. So we have... At least two? At least two lavenders, which for a 50-50 chance... We got terrible odds. Terrible odds, but maybe there's more in here that we just can't tell because of all the goop in there. It's covering up their colors. Okay, now let's look back, now that we know what we're looking for. That one's definitely, it's got that, a Oh, look at that belly. belly. Yeah, the belly's so light. That's definitely a lavender. So we have, yeah, definitely two lavenders. Maybe more. That one might be a lavender. We won't really know. Well, let's take a look. Do you think this is a lavender? Maybe. That like might said, be. It's just so hard to tell for the it one is. in the egg. I think yeah. we're just gonna have to wait till they're they're out oh to see them. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna put them back in the incubator, but before we do, one last look at our for sure lavender baby yeah. hog. The first lavenders we've ever produced. Yeah, look at him. And he's responding to the touch. Yep. Yep, suck back in Sorry. a little bit. Sorry, I poked <laughs> your nose. Wanted to make sure you were healthy. Oh my uh, goodness, we have lavenders. Right. I guess we'll come back in a day or two and see if they're out of the eggs. Okay. Gosh, it's the next day. Are there babies out? Are there babies out? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they're hatching. Oh my gosh, I see a lavender right there. Ah, okay, come here, come here. Let's take a look. Oh, babies. 
Oh, there's babies. Okay, let's pick up the babies. Oh my gosh, look at them. We're actually open right now. Do you want to see them? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look, there's a lavender. Oh my gosh. Right there. Oh my gosh, this is, I think, that was the first one of Pip yesterday. Another surrender's coming in, but oh my god, they're so cute. Oh. Oh my gosh. Look at babies! Babies! Ah, if I can open this stupid lid, thank you. <laughs> We're just gonna oh stand here and watch him straight up. Yeah, it's okay, Ed's not here. We don't have to work. Oh. <laughs> that one died. Not, that... not literally, but he's like upside down. Oh. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh, no. Oh, actually, you might thank you. So he's, a, he's alive. He's looking at his tongue, but. Oh my gosh. Hi. Boop, 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 boop. Oh my god. This is amazing. Oh, I wonder how many more lavenders we're gonna get. Oh. I guess we'll give him another day and we'll check back later. Come on, lavenders, come on. I know there's at least three lavenders, which is amazing. And now let's finally figure out what we have, if they're out. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, they're coming out! Hi, oh, there's a lavender completely out right there. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, hi, cutie. Oh my goodness. No. Oh, you're the, so scary. This is the sassy oh, one from there you yesterday. Go. A perfect example of lavender versus normal. Yeah, you can see the, oh, like right here, yeah, side by side. Yeah, normal's underneath. Yeah. Oh, you're so oh, mad. Oh my gosh, look at this sassy lavender. Hello. He was doing this from the egg yesterday, too. <laughs> Only his head was out. Come here. I'm gonna steal you. Oh my goodness. So he might look on camera like a normal colored hognose snake because the camera doesn't really do their colors, colors justice, justice for la yeah for lavenders. But when you put a normal colored one next to a lavender, now you can really see that difference. And this yeah. is even a lighter colored normal too. Look at that conda, by the way. Yeah, what a, that's an amazing conda. That's a really faded pattern. I don't that's know. That's a lame conda. Look at how lame that conda is. Yeah, that one has a ton of spots. This one has like none at, well, like very faded, fade, faded spots. Oh my goodness, so cute. You guys are so cute. All right, we're going to set you back in here. Who He's else all is? all out now. Yeah. Okay, so those are the two that came out. We have a normal. We a head. Oh, that's a lavender. lavender. That's definitely a lavender. Here's a normal. A normal sideways for some reason. Yeah, and another normal right there. Okay. Okay, so two of six in here were lavenders. <laughs> Great for odds. Yeah, for a 50 50 <laughs> supposed odds. Uh, it didn't quite hit them there, but that's okay. Container number two. There's a couple out in this one. Yeah, who's all out? Oh, I see two lavenders. There's one, two, three. three. That's. That I, looks like that's another lavender. That's a lavender, too. That's four lavenders. Oh my one, goodness. One, two, three, and four. And then there's. Is there still someone in here? Could you be another? Oh, that's oh, the. That's, oh, there's. Oh, I, I see a face. think that is a lavender. That's a lavender. Oh. Wait, where's the gross one that we were like, that one's not gonna make it. I think. No, that wasn't no, it. I think it was no. this one. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it was this one. Huh? Oh yeah, because that was the huge egg. Well, not huge, oh, but. Look at the lavender. Or look at the conda on this lavender. Oh my goodness, you're gonna be so pretty. Yeah. Okay, so for conda, what we're looking at, guys, is the lack of a pattern. So there's very few spots. Wow, this one's like pink on its head there. Yeah. That's a really beautiful lavender. Oh. Awesome. Oh my gosh. And then this one's a lavender. That's a lavender. That Pretty one's sure a that lavender. One's a lavender and that one's a three, four. So wait. So five out of eight in here were lavenders. Okay, so six plus eight is what? Fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. And then so how many five, lavenders did we get? Seven. Fifty. Fifty. 50. <laughs> oh my gosh, we right. hit the odds so perfectly. Now we know when we're cutting them, they don't look like lavenders. Yeah. Now we know because. Now that they're coming out, they obviously are lavenders. However, it does look like we have one baby that this sometimes happens. Take a look, his head is actually Aww. swollen because he cut not a, quite big enough of a hole and he's trying to tuck back into it. So we're gonna- Yeah, they're not very smart even at young age. They're not, your head is huge. He came out, he didn't come out of the hole we made him, that's why. Yeah, dude, you should've come out over here. Okay, let me help you out so you can at least suck back in. Apparently you're not the brightest little hog nose baby. There, there you, you go. go. Okay, you are welcome. <laughs> oh, poor dude. <laughs> His head is so swollen. It is. Look at his chin. Oh. Buddy, I'm sorry. Well, you're the one who did that to yourself, though. So let me uh, set this down here. <laughs> um, That'll return to normal. He'll he'll turn back into normal. He'll be perfectly fine. Yeah, he'll be okay. It's oh, a good thing we caught dude. that, yeah. dude. Okay, you just take it easy. <laughs> Come dude. out the hole we give you. It's yeah. so much easier. Why did you have to go through that other one? <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at all these babies. Since we have baby lavenders, let's take a look at those beautiful purple bellies. Oh my god, oh, it's so purple. Wow, and it's a conda, so he has a solid purple belly. Yeah. And those beautiful white walls still along the sides. Like, stop touching my belly. You are so Let pretty. Go back. I don't like you guys. Boy, he's got the purple eyes. And do you have a purple tongue? Can you flick your tongue? Oh, oh, flick it, flick it. Can I get another tongue flick? 
Oh, yeah, it's like a dark purple. Is he a boy or a girl? Oh, let's see. I guess, are they a boy or a girl? You are. This is a girl. Look at that short tail. Oh, yeah. So the cloaca is this lighter spot right there. The rest is the tail. So since it tapers pretty much right away, and it's a pretty short tail, we have a female here. I wonder if we can find a male to compare this guy to. Oh, like this. Perfect. That actually was not planned. <laughs> so we have a lavender female on the right and a normal colored male on the left. See oh, the yeah. difference in those tails? A lot longer and a lot thicker at the base before it starts tapering out on that male. So yeah, yeah that's how you tell with babies. Right. Oh, so we have a female lavender conda hognose. Holy okay, I moly. Think you should put them back. I know you're enjoying okay, yourself, okay. but oh my gosh. they need to stay warm. They do. We'll check okay. back tomorrow to we'll see how many more them. are out. Yep, we'll check tomorrow. I think all the babies are out looking through the lids and there are so many lavenders oh my gosh let's take a look this one is just so purple yeah it's not a good example of a conda because it has a lot of spots it's also still. not a good example of a on the camera of a lavender it looks normal on camera oh bummer well yeah. what if we put a Throw normal next, to, next it? to it there we go, there go. okay so con or lavender and normal can you kind of see the color difference there at least i mean it pretty much looks faded Oh, but, really? Yeah, it's, oh, it's bummer. unfortunate. Yeah, because it's like purple in yeah. person. Ah, oh, that's the one downside to lavenders is you just can't really tell what they look like unless you see them in person. Or you take a really good photo of them. Yeah, honestly, this is one that you, you'd you probably still take a picture of and have to Photoshop it to change the color to what it actually looks yeah. like. So, yeah, that's a gorgeous lavender, lavender though, guys. Now let's take a look at the wild so this types. This is the one with two lavenders in Yep, there? it had okay. two of seven, I think, were lavenders. So we've got uh, five over here. This one. <laughs> it's nice so funny. Like usually you'd be like, color. oh my god, condas. Yeah, and that's true. Like, ah, we don't need to look at them. Yeah, we got right. lavenders. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah. What's cool is all these babies are condas. Just different examples of condas. Yeah, like this one's a really lame conda. Yeah, has a lot of spots. That's a really pretty one with the line kind of down its back oh and that gosh. turns into spots. Wait, wait, wait. Speaking of lines, look at that conda. Oh, wow. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Look at that stripe. That one's really pretty. Oh, and this one has even more of a stripe. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. Look at that one. He's like a racetrack. Yeah. Wow. You are really pretty. Can you see the difference of colors between these two? Um, Lavender and oh. normal color? Yes. You can. You, you can. It kind of shows there, the purple. Okay. Slightly. Uh, Not as good as it is in person. Okay. But. Well, yeah, and even the normal colored ones in here are het lavender, which is yeah. really cool. Okay, so that's that half. Let's take a look at the other half that has... The other half has more lavenders. Yes, it's like the reverse so of the colors. turn this sideways. Okay. Out. In three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh. So oh many gosh. babies. So much lavender. I think lavender. this one's my favorite. Yeah. Because it's I, so pink. Yeah, I'm with you. This one, you're right. This one is like pink near the head. Yeah. You are so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have you. This one over here, which is a nice conda, like super faded conda. Yeah, considering that's just a conda. I mean, yeah. I know the... Super Conda has nothing, but that's a super faded Conda. It is a really high expression He's got Conda. Like a pink spot on his head. Oh, he does. Yeah, you're really cute. Oh, weird. There we go. So that's a high expression Conda is what that's called. If they have a lot of spots and they're therefore not a good example of a Conda, then they're considered a low expression Conda. Take a look at this one. This one has like polka dots. Oh, wow. And it's like patternless near its head. Oh, it's also a conda, or it's also lavender. Yeah, and it's lavender. It's so this a one's less lavender-y than wow. the other ones, but that one looks completely normal on camera. Oh, does it really? Yeah. Oh, oh. that one. There we go, side by side, so you can see the difference. Yeah, so you can kind of see it there. Yeah, a little bit there. You can also see the spot pattern on this one. Mm -hmm. It's like divided. Oh, it's like leopard, kind yeah, of. Yeah, it is kind of like a leopard spotted one. Oh, this one's shedding his skin <laughs> for the first time. Oh, look at his face coming off. Oh, this is going to be so uncomfortable here. Can I help? Eh. No! Eh. I have to do it myself. Ah, oh, there I got I got it off your face at least. Okay, I'll put you back. Oh, look at this lavender's belly! Yeah. Wow, that's a really pretty purple belly. Oh my gosh, sorry. That you can see on camera. Oh good, okay. I got distracted. Sorry, we'll set you down there. What else do we have in this pile? Ooh, He's, this she, one's like... He, she. This one is a girl. Okay. Really short tail. This She's one has really a nice pretty. stripe behind her head. I like how it goes to like... It's like Morse code. Stripe, spot, stripe, spot, stripe, spot, yeah. stripe, spot, stripe. 
Oh my gosh, this one's more like bluish gray almost. Yeah. It's cool, a cool version of a, of a lavender. You're really pretty. Yeah, right the lavenders yeah. want to get out. Okay, over here we have two condas that are normal colored, but they're- got a good stripe on its head. This one has a cool stripe, and this one has a cool like leopard. Divided pattern. Yeah, divide, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, divided with the two rows of spots. Those are both beautiful examples of just how the conda gene can vary and you're getting out. I'm off on my adventure yep, okay. in the new world. Go have fun. Okay, you explore. We're gonna check out the last two lavenders. There's so many lavenders in here. What was it, completely 50-50? It was completely 50-50 nice. and you are shedding. Can I help? The first shed, when they like hatch right away, they shed, it's so thick. Thin. Uh, it's like not, it doesn't even feel like anything. Here, let me get this off your face. Okay, no, there you go. I like it on my there. face. You're welcome. Was it these two that were the last ones? Yes. Okay. Chugga 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 chugga. <laughs> Just inch worming his way away. <laughs> Back to the two that are supposed to be on camera. Oh, they're like friends. Aren't they cute together? Wow. Yeah, you can definitely see like. Okay, this one looks normal, but that is a lavender. That looks like a xanthic. Oh, really? Yeah. That's how light it is on mm -hmm. camera, huh? I wish that there's a here, way for here. people to see them in person. There we there go. There you go. Now you can see it. Yeah, I can definitely see the color change there. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. Aw. He's like, Mama. Yo. Hi, cutie. Boop. Oh, oh he didn't want don't, that. Don't poke me Sorry. in the face. Sorry. I wonder if we can get a shot. I think I can get them all in my hands at once. All the hogs or all yes. the lavenders? All the all the lavenders. Let's start with that. I think that's more of an achievable goal than okay. the entire clutch. So they all okay. should be in there? I think they're all in. Ready? Ta-da! Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. A handful of lavender conda hogs. Oh my gosh. It's so, such a shame still that they don't, it just doesn't look like it in Yeah, the there's so much purple here. Okay, can I flip them over? You can see all the lavender bellies. You try. I'm going to try. Maybe you can at least see that on camera. Whoop. <laughs> oh, you can kind of see it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> They're like, what are you doing? Yeah, stop it. That stripe is so pretty. Yeah, it is. Okay, we're going to We're going to have such a problem trying to see what we actually want to sell out oh, of this clutch. Oh, man. I think we're going to keep all the female lavenders, and we really don't need more than maybe one male lavender from yeah. this group. And put you over here. Are we going to do all? Okay, so we'll put keep them all in one bin. Non -keep. Yes, yes. Let's figure out what our holdbacks are right now. So people who are on the waiting list will know what's going to be available. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at Emily that clutch. Her way, there's not going to be a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, that's Actually, true. I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. And we're going to switch it out for one of the baby bins. Perfect. There we go. We'll put keepers in there and non-keepers in this one. Yeah. How about that? All right, let's start with the normal colored ones. Actually, okay. we don't need to keep any of the normal colored ones, Those right? Those are really pretty. If anything, maybe the striped one. Yeah. Do you want to maybe? It a male or a female? It's female. It's a keep it. female. Okay, keep it. Okay, keep pile. Het lavender. I guess, I guess he's saying he wants to go. Okay, you can go to he somebody like else. This. I don't think we need to keep any other normals no. genetically. Yeah. So I'm sorry, guys. Well, I mean, not sorry. You're just going to go to uh, an awesome new home on our yeah, waiting list. Probably going to a breeder, most likely. Yeah, most likely to a breeder. So there we go. You're all going to go over there. And now that's, oh, no, well. That one wants to be a keeper. Are you a female? You want to stay with you are, Discovery? You are a male. That is a very mm -hmm. long tail. So we're going right, to leave. We'll put him in a maybe. Yeah. Yep, maybe. The males are going to stay in here for now. So let's figure out which ones are girls. This is the feisty one that hatched first. I think well, I guess a keep for now. Yeah, I guess a keep for now. That's a I don't know. <laughs> and we have you. This is a nice faded conda. Well, that's a girl. That's a girl. Yep, short Wait. tail. Yep, that's definitely a girl. Okay, keep pile. How <laughs> about this one? This <laughs> nice lavender. You are a boy. Okay, right. so you stay in here. Yep, you're a maybe. I don't remember what the other one was. That might have been the other one. Actually, I think this was the other one. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna put them in a separate bin altogether. Okay. Okay, so maybes are gonna go in another bin off camera, yep. just so I don't like double sex them or get confused. Yep, makes so sense. So this one is a boy. A and a half right there. Okay, he's going in the maybe bin. This one's beautiful. I yeah, hope you're a girl. 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 Come on, girl. Oh. Girl! There we go. Short tail! Keep. Okay, we have Jeez. two left. <laughs> this is a girl! Alright, we might let one girl Yeah, maybe go. we won't keep all. Wow, this is the pink one. Yeah. I hope this one's a girl. If it's a boy, that might be our keep boy. That might be. You are a boy! Alright. Oh, this is the one with the leopard spots, too. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is the boy we're keeping. Well, okay, let's get rid well, of this. Okay, okay. Can you bring that back over? Here are the three boys we have to choose from. That one can go. The, yep, the faded one. Yep, the faded one okay. can go. Okay, that one we don't need to keep. So it's down to these two. 
Oh man. Both those are really pretty. They are both really pretty. From a Conda standpoint, I think I'd have to choose this one though. All right, go for it. Okay, this is the boy we are keeping. That's the boy we're letting go. So how many out of this clutch are we actually letting go? Uh, <laughs> quite a few actually. Two, three, four. We're only keeping six. We're letting okay. eight go. That's not too bad. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Out of a clutch of 14, we're yeah. only keeping six. Yeah. Just um, shy of half. Unless, do we need that many females? Yeah. Okay. If nothing else, we can let them go in the future. That's true. We can start raising them up now. Yep. And then this will give us a good chance to see which ones are really good eaters. We are also trying to expand our hog nose breeding. Yes, so. we are. So we should be holding back a decent number. Yep. Okay. Well, it's decided. We're going to let two male lavenders go. That, that one? That one. Yeah. This, you just told me to not keep this know, one. You said this I one definitely goes with back. everybody else and I like him. No, well, he's not a good example of a lavender though because yeah. he's not purple. So we should be encouraging right. the right. color of right. the lavender. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a, I think we have a good set here. All right, should we set up baby bins? Sure. All right. So do you want to explain what we're going to be doing as far as setting these guys up? Oh, like with the multiples? Yes. Yes, we can. Yeah, absolutely. So last year we experimented a bit and we kept hog noses because we were kind of low on space in pairs and sometimes trios, depending on how many bins we had available. There was a huge wait for more racks to come in, which is what we were, uh, it was not in our favor. So we put two or three together and it turns out they eat a lot better. Maybe this was 2020 actually. I don't remember. I don't right. remember. We recently experimented and discovered that baby hogs tend to eat a lot better when they're kept in at least for pairs that year. or trios. So yeah, at least for that year. So we're going to actually do it again this year. I don't know if it's like replicating in the wild when they hatch, they don't disperse right away. So they're used to being with other siblings at first. I don't know, but I think we're going to do the same thing and keep like three together in a bin this size. That's plenty of room for three yeah, I mean, hatchlings. That's six in one. Yeah. Oh, and this yeah. one's escaping. So you, Mr. Mrs. <laughs> there, that's six in one. Yeah. So, so we're going to do three in the, each of these bins, at least for the start and then we're gonna split as they grow yep. obviously but yeah we're going to set up baby bins just like we always do and uh we'll go from there since this is our first baby clutch of the year i'm going to kind of review how we set up our baby bins in, in case you haven't seen uh, how we do it before or if you just want a refresher the back end of these baby bins is the heated end and the uh, front is just kind of room temperature so what we're gonna do for their substrate for all these bins is set a paper towel down and we like to do a paper towel even though this isn't the recommended substrate long term for hog noses because this allows babies to eat their food without risking impaction or like eating substrate that gets stick to their get stuck to their meals so a lot easier for feeding but we're not going to just do a dry paper towel we are going to mist it down slightly to help keep them hydrated since they just came out of those fluid filled eggs and this will also help them shed as well in the back of the enclosure we are going to put a hide which i was going to do this awesome hide that a, set, uh, a fan made for us and gave to us in our zoo. Unfortunately, the top doesn't really sit in place. So I think I'm just gonna turn it into two hides by flipping each piece that way. So we still have a hide, it's perfect. In the front, we're gonna do a water dish, which we'll fill up later. And then we're gonna add a rock for them to rub up against to shed their skin. Some of these, I might do a piece of Malaysian driftwood because maybe that'll, well, I'm gonna do both. Pork. Yeah, or cork, there we go. Okay, and then we just need some enrichment, which this also adds as enrichment we can also add a couple of leaves maybe a flower and there is our baby bin for our hog noses so we're just gonna do this for all how many bins do we need five 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 bins We have our baby bins. I added a ton of enrichment because I felt like spoiling them. Yep. We have our keepers. Yep. And our let goers. Let goers. Yep. Assuming they all eat well, obviously. Yeah. So next, what we're gonna do, and it won't be part of this video, but we're gonna slide all of these in place into their uh, little baby rack, and then the next step will be in about five to seven days, we are going to offer them their first meal, which will be a frozen thawed pinky mouse, probably a day old pinky, so it's as tiny as possible. But they will be able to handle the entire pinky. We won't have to chop it up for these guys yeah, at all. Just day old pinkies. Yeah, and hopefully it'll be a frozen thawed one, obviously unscented. Hopefully they 
all te take it on the first try. That'd be nice. <laughs> like that's gonna happen. That's the goal anyway. <laughs> These are hognose snakes, so I'm sure not all of them are gonna be good eaters, but that's why as breeders, we hang on to them until they start eating regularly and they take several meals before we send them to their new homes. But yeah, we're just gonna make sure they're eating and then send them off to their new homes. We do have a waiting list for these guys. It is already full, but we and will as you have... can see, we took six of them. And so. we kept a lot of them. We won't be keeping this many of any of our other clutches. It's just lavenders. You we don't really... don't know that yet. Maybe we'll hatch some really cool ones. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Uh, no, all bets are off when it comes to holdbacks. But uh, what we're planning on doing is half of the babies for any species, all species here this year, half of them we're going to uh, sell to our people on the waiting list and then ship them off to different states. And the other half of our babies, roughly, we're going to sell in our store so that we can reduce a little bit of shipping stress and sell to local people, which will be fun. Yeah. So, yeah, I am very excited. We have lavenders. Yeah. Look at this lavender. Cute little lavender. This is the boy that Although we're keeping. you can't really tell that that's a lavender <laughs> at all. Here, throw him up there with him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. There we go. Now you can yeah. see the color difference. Oh, lavenders! This is probably the like highest end clutch of hognoses we have ever hatched. There are some fancy snakes in here for sure, which is why we're keeping half of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let us know which one is your, I think these are my top two favorites of the clutch, maybe. Hang on, I'm also going to include this one, even though it's not a so good top example. Three top three favorites. Yes, these are my top two favorites, these three snakes. Yep. Uh, this one, just because of its color, this one because of the conda pattern, and this one because of the stripe. Yeah, those are good ones. Can you guys let us know which one from this clutch is your favorite? Oop. Maybe the drama queen? Sorry, I had to fix a bunch of hog noses trying to escape. They're escaping. So yeah, we've got hogs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you to our Patreon backers for your amazing support, and welcome. 2022 baby season! It's yeah. here! Hooray! Happy baby season! That one's got gunk on his head. It's shed.